hey Robson, hey Chessman, hey Eddie, uh, hey Jackson. Jackson says, you were brilliant at uh, chess fantasy. Shame I didn't copy your answers. Thank you, Jackson. I, I did pretty well. I, I did better than Jan, which is, of course, the only thing that matters. Um, but I did not have Maxim in the last place. So it, it was not a, a top 10 finish, but it was still good. Chris coming in with a 10 month resub. Thank you so much, Chris. Is that a new haircut? Yeah, kinda, kinda. I used the scissor, Jackson, and I just, Oh man, what quarantine does to a man, huh? I just, I just went for it. Uh, all the lives, you copied D4 Night of Six? Yeah, that was a good choice. It gave me a lot of points. Hey Bogdan. Hey Dwertus. Hey Steelers. Hey uh, Oscar. Hey Kulex. Loved it when you roasted Finn and Hansulov in the Norwegian commentary. I don't roast people. I speak the truth. I guess that, to some extent, that may be the definition of roasting, but... I, I, I speak my mind. I think that's fair. Uh, actually, we have a new thing today. Um, I see all of the incoming challenges, and I was just about to accept one of them. Uh, but I want to try a new thing. From now on, I want all the challenges to be three minutes plus two second increments. Uh, and then I'm going to win every single game. That's, that's my new goal. In order to preserve my mood, we're going to play games with increments, and I'm going to crush you every single time. When you cannot take me down, uh, when I don't realize I'm low on time and I don't realize until there's like 20 seconds left, if I take that away, I believe my results will improve magnificently. Yeah, Chris, there's no, there's nothing I will not do to uh, to improve my results i will even go as low as to demand increments can you believe it okay we're gonna start out with uh with bogdan let's see if this works yes it does work I was just checking the comments on my video series and it, it dawned on me that basically in the black videos, I, I'm just advocating playing like this uh, e6, d5, knight f6, bishop e7, castles, just against everything. Because it's just, it's just solid. No matter what system white chooses to use, it's just good. Uh, Spotry, uh, apparently people think it's a new haircut. What has happened is that I have maimed myself with scissors, but I, I, I will call it a, a new haircut if, if it pleases the viewers. Ding should have beaten Magnus, but then he played the terrible F6. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Hmm, that's an interesting concept here from Bogdan. So he opens up the C file and tr is trying to put pressure down against my, uh, my C pawn. Because had I had my pawn here on B7, I could have created a pawn chain with these pawns and blocked the C file very efficiently. However, now if I play C6, that's going to be an attacking target. So I'm just going to go C5. New gel? No. It looks more fresh. Thank you, Jackson. I try. Apparently, if this chest thing doesn't work out, I can always switch to hairdressing. Hey, Starry, how you doing? 
I'm just making sure I beat my viewers by demanding they they uh, use increments in their challenges. Yes, Yonatan, that's uh, that's my new my new thing. Three plus two. Giving myself hope, even when I'm down to twenty seconds. Hey, Hackner. Yeah, it's plus two increments. Okay, so I want to take control over the C file, but if I go queen e7, then he's going to go queen c1. So I'd rather have my queen on like d7. But that's not really going to happen, though, is it? I thought, for some reason, I thought I was going to be able to put pressure and maybe even take the C file. But the more I'm looking at this, the, the more difficult it seems. So in the Sozinho, Sozinho. I think I did a decent attempt first try. Hey, how are you doing? Can you do a blitz repertoire? No, I'm not a very tricky guy. I'm not the kind of guy you want a blitz repertoire from. I'm not tricky enough for that. I'm just solid. But you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race. Hey, Panda. Do you accept 3 plus nil? No. no, I'm going to try not to do that, Yoon. Um, I might do it on accident, but in general, I've decided that I don't like getting flagged, so I would like to have some increments when I play. Uh, bow ties, no, I haven't been watching today. Okay, now we have that pressure against d3, so if he goes rook c1, I can trade and take on d3. Which player do you think fights most aggressively with the black pieces in modern chess? Um, that's a good question. Having opinions on players, I feel like is very difficult. It's, it's very difficult to make a, uh, an accurate assessment. We're still fighting over the C file. I can't really find anything I'm super happy with. Alireza, wow, Jackson. The guy with the Alireza picture on his profile thinks Alireza is the, the most aggressive fighter. What a shocker. Uh, thank you, Peter. Mm, yeah, I'm low on time again. But at least now I'm low on time. I discovered that I'm low on, on time as the um, as the increments start. No, as the as the milliseconds, deciseconds. I'm not sure what it's called. As it goes down, I am made aware that there's trouble. Um, and for once, I don't have to completely panic. I can just live off my, uh, my two seconds. We'll keep the queens. We'll see if we can make something happen. How can you be so calm? Well, I'm calm until I make a mistake, and then I'm gonna be not calm. Okay, there he made a mistake. He uh, he let me undermine this uh, this whole thing. So now I'm gonna try to infiltrate with my queen. Okay, first infiltration try failed, but we'll try again. Okay, now we're getting in here. Some nasty checkmating ideas. 
I'm, surely this must be checkmate somehow. I don't see how though. I actually don't see how it's checkmate. This is very disappointing. I'm supposed to be a grandmaster. Cannot find a checkmate. I don't see it. I still don't see it. Oh, and now I blundered. Wow, I really thought that these increments were gonna work out for me. Why was I wrong? Oh man, turns out even with two seconds per move, I cannot find checkmates. There must have been one there. Now he can just make a repetition. Yeah, I saw that, Peter. Magnus winning 10 in a row against Alireza, it's incredibly difficult. Oh man, and first game of the day as well. I just, I couldn't see a checkmate. Now we're just gonna look at this until I find the checkmate. And then I'm gonna be very disappointed in myself, but at least I have accomplished something. Check, check, check. How is there no checkmate? This is incredible. I still don't see it. Queen f5 and knight f2. I don't see how this is checkmate. I don't see it. Queen f5, queen g5. No, I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, I feel like this is pretty close, but at the same time, the king just, the king is really surprisingly safe on h4. It's very annoying. Maybe I should have gone right here. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Wow, I'm shocked. I, st I still cannot find it. I refuse to believe there's no checkmate here, but I, I just, I cannot find it. It's impossible. And even with two second increments, I couldn't make it work. Shame on me. Who won the game Sunday? Magnus won the final, Isabella. Wow, he's pre-moving. He knows what's in my head before I even make a move. But it would appear he hasn't studied the hammer, the hammer repertoire. To be fair, it's been a while since I studied it. No, this isn't what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go knight c3. Oh man. See, I, it's, it's been so long. It's been so long, I even forgot my own recommendation. I was supposed to. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? Okay, it's fine, because uh, Mr. Chess Beast has put his knight on the edge of the board. That never works out well. Now after bishop g7, we're gonna go g4 and the knight is trapped. Even here, I might go g4. Because the, the knight is just going to be so ridiculously poorly placed. It has nowhere to go. Shouldn't your repertoire be muscle memory by now? No. I don't think you get muscle memory online. Do you? Sounds very dubious to me. Hey, Bursak. 
I don't I don't think I think whenever you've studied openings and you start playing them yourself and you like get your chess board to play through the opening you just learned I think one of the main reasons that's so effective is because it goes to your muscle memory but moving about a, a computer mouse that doesn't work it doesn't commit to muscle memory and frankly when it comes to chess openings this might be under communicated but muscle memory is a real thing for knowing your chess openings sitting down with the board it's gonna be very beneficial to you sitting down with the board just playing out some of your lines muscle memory works Yeah, I think you're uh, reaching at straws, Dvertis. Uh, I don't think that's a thing. Uh, we're just going to exchange queens. I'm pretty sure I'm checkmating this king fairly soon. I mean, he cannot move a single piece. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. He cannot move the bishop because then the rook comes to give checkmate. He cannot move this bishop. He cannot move the king. Well, he can move the knight, but nothing good is going to happen. And he cannot move the rook. <laughs> She's just completely tied down. Oh, poor guy. Why not knight g8? Um, because I didn't see it. I'm also considering bishop g5, which is probably way stronger than knight g8. I'm going to go with this move. Uh, it was not a checkmate, Jackson. Hey, Ten Ben. Now it's a checkmate, though. If, if I had gone knight g8 instead, then you can take, and then you can block with a pawn. I don't think this is a checkmate. Oh, actually, yeah, because the knight comes in. That's pretty nice. I didn't see the knight coming in. When will Lalan join your stream? Uh, I don't see that happening at any point, Ten Men. Uh, but when will Magnus join the stream? That's my goal. We gotta get the champ back. He was on my stream once before. It was a lot of fun. We should see if we can get him back someday. The cold spaghetti. Yes, Hackner, you do remember. But also, you're misremembering, because the spaghetti was, the spaghetti was not cold. I think this is very important for everyone to remember. Magnus was offered fresh, hot spaghetti when he arrived. He chose to decline my kind offer. And then, like... An hour later, then he was like, oh, yeah, you know that spaghetti you were talking about? Yeah, can I get some of that? And by that point, it was cold. But the only, the only person's fault for it not being served hot was Magnus's. Shouldn't you be saying Magnus's name in the Norwegian way? I don't know. It it kind of I I have a tendency of of sometimes just going a bit back and forth on it. But in general, when you're speaking English, it's easier to just stick with the English pronunciation of everything. But but the thing is Magnus has a very kind of accepted way of being pronounced in English. Whereas if we were talking about Simon Agdestein, I'm not going to call him 
Simon. Because while that would be like the normal English pronunciation, it's just not his name. It's a different name. Uh, and, you know, so then I will often say Seaman. Just for a lack of good alternatives. And also to see chat reaction. What age do you have to start playing to become a titled player? Um, Pawn Munch, I think if you have the time to, to dedicate yourself a little, then you can become a titled player at, at pretty much any age. How does Magnus train tactics? Well, Leah, I have seen Magnus try out Tactics Frenzy. He was pretty high up on the on the high scores not too long ago. Together with amongst others Anish Giri. So doing tactics online, they use the same tools as the rest of us. There's no magic formula, they're just, you know, good at it, and they do it more often than the rest of us. That's not serious tactics trainings for him? I mean, if that's your opinion, then I, who am I to, 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 to disagree? Other than, you know, having been Magnus's coach in the past and having some idea of how Grandmasters operate. No, I mean, they use the same tools as you and me. It's, it's not, it's not like they have a secret cave with secret puzzles. Okay, we're gonna, I want to go g5. I need to get my, give my king some space because I need to get my rook out. So my alternatives are h5 and trying to get my rook out this way, uh, or it's g5, and then I'm basically planning king g7 and getting my rook out here. But yeah, g5 is a bit risky. It just occurred to me that I could just play g6. g5 feels cooler, right? Because it, it's grabbing space and all of that stuff. But g6 is just very safe. You thought there's some more advanced stuff? Yeah, I tried I tried giving Magnus some pretty tricky puzzles at one of the training camps before the World Championship. And basically what he said to me is that these are too difficult. Uh because uh, he just he just wanted to keep his mind, you know, ready. Uh, he just wanted some some like puzzles he could solve in in thirty seconds maximum. He he wasn't interested in sitting there calculating for ten minutes. Because at at for him doing tactics is about just keeping the mind fresh. I have no idea what you're talking about, all the lives. Oh, really, Isabella? How do you like it so far? Thank you, Safi. Uh, thank you so much, Segi man. You dumb down the chess. I, I like to think that I'm not dumbing down the chess. But yeah, we definitely try to convey it in a way that everyone can understand. But the level of the chess analysis is really, is supposed to be really high. Uh, Crichton, yes, hairdressers in Oslo are back. 
Um, but instead of seeking professional help, I have used the mirror and a scissor. But I'm getting so many compliments, I'm not even sure I regret it. I don't even know what the Urs of Gambit is, Max. If it wasn't in the Black Series before, it's not there now. Nothing gets added. Oh, the tactics ratings? No, but I mean, you cannot compare tactics rating systems all the lives. It's just two completely different numbers. Cannot be compared. But yeah, the chest 24 ones are pretty difficult. Even I struggle with them. You should try Tactics Frenzy instead. Shameless promotion. Uh, at least I'm not promoting a different company. Oh, man. Only a real master can explain complex, complex things in a simple way. Yes. Thank you, Safi. That's that's what I tried to do. And by the response we've we've been getting on our chess broadcasts, it seems we're we're doing a good job. I have no idea what you're talking about, Spot. Oh, Max, you made a comment about that in in the... Did I not reply to your comment? Pretty sure I did. It wasn't very good. This D4 move, it was not very good. I remember checking it. If you play three or five minutes, you cannot learn chess. I mean, Bursak, in everything, if you're going to learn something uh, from scratch, then I think the more you play it, the more you're going to learn. So uh, if, if you're comfortable, if you, as long as you don't end up losing on time, every time you play three or five minute chess, I think the more games you play, the better, and it's easier to play more games when you have a somewhat shorter time control. Has spring arrived in Norway? Yes, Spotsky. Norway has a very sp strange kind of climate these days. We... Yeah, somehow we didn't really have winter. I don't know how it happened, but we, we basically didn't have snow in Oslo for the uh, for this entire year. Um, but now we didn't really have spring either. We had like, we had this thing that was kind of half winter, half spring. And we had that since November. And now we're just skipping over the spring part altogether, and it's basically summer. Tomorrow it's gonna it's gonna be like twenty degrees Celsius. It's gonna be like a summer stay, which is nice. If you know, if it was okay to be hang out outside. It rains a lot because of the large mountains. Yeah, in Bergen, the second biggest city in Norway, that's the case. It's kind of surrounded by mountains. And so that's why it rains quite a bit, th a bit there. But also has been very nice. Okay, see you around, Isabella. Yes, Safi. I agree, but I, you know, when you can, I cannot see anything back there. So it's basically just gambling 
whenever I take the scissors in that direction. I'm actually very happy with how I did for a blind man. Oh, really, Blunderbook? Okay, apparently, while Oslo has been having pretty much no snow, the the Inlands has been had has had the most snow ever. So apparently, there's very big local um, diversity. No, I wasn't trying to say diversity. I was trying to say. Um, I don't know what I was trying to say. Differences. Yeah, I'll go with that. Whatever. Uh, Bergen! Coming in with the Twitch Prime for nine months. Enjoy your streaming. I will, Bergen. Thank you so much for subbing. Baig, does it mean mountain? No. Not in Norwegian. Well, I guess technically it does mean that, but it's a like very old, very old way of speaking. What's that flag? I'm pretty sure it's like Bermuda. No, it's not Bermuda. I think it's a French flag on top of a red background and then some x red x on the on the right hand side so what kind of french colonies islands do we have it could be like guadalope something like that Pretty sure I avoided the Halloween Gambit, Max. I'm pretty sure I move ordered myself out of having to deal with the Halloween Gambit. No, wait, the Halloween, no. What I'm thinking about is the Frankenstein Dracula variation. But you wanted me to mention Knight takes E5. No, we cannot take such moves seriously. I I will I will live with your disappointment in me. But the Halloween gambit we are not giving the time of day. Wallace and Futuna. Wow, I've never even heard of that, Lord Ify. I never would have gotten that. It's definitely a French, French flag on the top left. Does also mean we play chess here? Yeah, basically these days, Dwarves. Basically. I'm just taking all of his pawns. I feel kind of rude. But at the same time, it's so tempting. And it's so free. I'm taking like three pawns the last three moves. I'm going to take a fourth next move. It's a French island collective collectivity. I don't know what that is, Baldwin. In the South Pacific between Tuvalu, Fiji, Tonga, Samoa and Tokelau. Okay. I must say, I never heard of that before. Many islands in the world. I think it's going to be my conclusion. Uh, my queen is so well placed. All my pieces are really well placed. It might be time to go for an attack. Or are we going to reinforce first? Nah, let's go. 
Yeah, it does sound pretty nice. The South Pacific in general. The South Pacific... In general, all of these, like, remote islands in, in the Southern Hemisphere, like, near Equator, you kind of... We, we have a certain image that forms in our minds. And we say, ooh, the beaches and the amazing this and the amazing that. When in reality, what these places are, it's, it's just a bunch of test places for nuclear weapons from 50 years ago. But sure looks good on the pictures. Sounds nice. Until you think about it. Uh, I don't, I rarely hang out with Magnus, but none. Okay, I think we got something going on. This pawn is threatening the knight. When the knight moves, my queen. It's going to give a check to this king through a discovered attack. This pawn is going to go forward, open up the diagonal for my queen, and bad things are going to happen for my opponent. Um, it's a free knight. It's difficult to resist. Is Malachit Bjergen more popular than Magnus in Norway? No. No, she's not. I, it was probably pretty close, though, before she retired. But now that she retired, there's no contest, I would think. No, but like seriously, Blunderbook, I feel like a lot of these islands in the South Pacific were nuclear test sites. Pretty sure that's a real thing. There's like these, but I guess it's not really islands, it's more like atolls. Not that I know too much about what the difference is. The French and the British testing out their arms. How nice. Who is my again? She's a uh, skier, Lord Ify. You know, Norway, all we care about these days are skiers and chess players. I can basically take every single piece he has. Feels bad. Well, okay, we apparent Norway has started caring a little bit about soccer players, but that's a very new phenomenon. Because Norwegian soccer players are traditionally trash. Norway, not so much in summer games. That's just blatantly false, Lord Ify. Norway is amazing in the Summer Olympiad. If you consider our, how many people live in Norway. I mean, it, it can definitely not compare with our 
winter sport exploits, but we do okay. I think we get like three gold medals in the Summer Olympiad. It's pretty decent. Bye, Jackson. Overseas departments of France are still a part of the EU. Guadeloupe, Martinique, Saint Martin, Réunion, Mayotte, and French Guiana. Really? French Guiana is French? For some reason, I thought they were independent. Which is kind of strange given the name, but. Wow, you lived on Sun. I have no idea where that is, Ollie. And I only know of these. I only know Réunion. I know that's um, outside of Madagascar. I don't even know where Martinique is. Although I've definitely heard that, heard about that one before. Yeah, crazy pit. I, uh, I, I, I did my own hairdressing. And I thought it looked pretty good, but I had not checked the angle here. This very important streaming angle, I had not checked. No, this is like, this is the one where it, it looks a bit strange. Here is. But that's just a scissor ready to easily fixed. Um, so Gursk has played this line, which I have never seen before. So I don't really know what to do. Um, I'm assuming I'm supposed to use this these open files to attack White's position, um, but it's not so easy. I think I'm just gonna exchange. Oh, the Caribbean, that's cool. Oli, are you French or are you German? Do you mind sharing what brought you on this adventure? How long is the queue? I'll check, Max. I got like, uh, I got two people who challenged me with increments. So I have two people who have managed to follow instructions, but then there's like five people who have challenged without increments. I had the idea that with increments today, I would crush everyone. And then very first game of the day, I make a draw when I was so close to giving checkmate. It's very frustrating. Okay, we grabbed a pawn, and now we're going to manage to exchange off this knight. Uh, and this is very beneficial for us, because with the pawn on c5, it's going to be more difficult for him to attack down the c-file towards both of my pawns. And also, we're going to get an amazing placement for this knight in the center. Things are looking good. Hey Bonko, how are you doing? Yeah, I I would imagine it's interesting. The Caribbean sounds like a very interesting place in general. I was actually googling 
Pirates in the Caribbean uh, yesterday. And not the kind of thing you're thinking about, not the movie. I, I, I was watching this new show on Amazon Prime, or it's not a new show, but it was new to me. It's called Jamestown, so it's uh, set in the 1600s, um, and kind of like the first settlements of, um, of the US. And I don't know what made me, but somehow I started being curious, and then I was Googling about where this place was in real life and stuff like that, and I kind of, I got distracted by the potential of searching up pirates in the neighborhood, stuff like that. Wow, Ollie, seems like that was a very considered decision you made. The perfect place, staying in the EU in a warmer place, closer to the US time zones. Sounds like perfection. Hey, Bertrich, how are you doing? Hey, Arkin. You've been studying openings? Wow, Vertrich. Ooh, method in chess. Have you been studying Dorfman, Vertrich? Wow. Look at you being fancy. I know grandmasters who haven't studied Dorfman's methods. Hey, Sakakiasen. Um, I regret taking that pawn because now I'm kind of giving him the option of creating a passed pawn on the, on the edge. No, Sakakiasen, unfortunately, I have only just returned from Bergen. Um, and I have not procured the sufficient supplies of chocolate milk. And Nicola, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. How are you doing today, Nicola? Did you catch any of the Magnus Invitational action? It was fun, a fun tournament. It was, I, there was a point there, I did not think Magnus was gonna win it. He, uh, he made it interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, maybe I should have taken this pawn, but I'm being nervous. I'm afraid I'm putting everything on the light squares here. And then we'll see if we can make some progress. I'm gonna take with the king actually, because I don't see how he's gonna stop this one. Rude not to say hello. Yeah, it was Sakahias, and why didn't you say hello to me when I was visiting? Shame. Especially when playing against Ding. Yeah, no, I, I, wow. I basically declared the match is over. Magnus was just misplaying the opening in the third game. He was already down by one game and he was in so much trouble. He lost a pawn for what I thought was pretty much nothing. But he, uh, he managed to turn it around. And then even in the fourth game, he was in trouble. There, he was, yeah. It's not very often we see we see Magnus being in that amount of trouble. Are you going to make more video series? Um, not in the near future, no. There's, uh, the studio is in Hamburg and for the moment, there's no traveling in and out of Norway. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the future is gonna bring. 
not at this time. For some reason, I've never seen this move before. It seems illogical, though. Maybe it just transposes to some other variations. Yes, yeah, like yes, and I was doing commentary for Norwegian TV2 on the Magnus tournament. Bergen is a bad place. No, it's not, Max. I know I don't sound like it, but I am actually born, born in Bergen. Half my family is from there. But I, we moved when I was still very young. So the only times I actually declare my my birthplace show any kind of pride is when the the Bergen soccer team wins the league then I'm from Bergen and then the rest of the time I'm not and to be fair the 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 team Bran, which literally means fire so they have a pretty good name uh, but them winning the league is not an ordinary thing. It happens once, once a decade. Uh, wow, I have not calculated this. We're just going to go with it, see what happens. Uh, hi Anita, um, I have not read the moves that matter. I It's been on my wish list for some time and I might get it next month because my dad really likes giving me books and I'm pretty sure I specifically requested that that one be on the list. But no, I haven't read it. I'm a big fan of Rosen though. So I'm I'm assuming it's going to be pretty good. Are you asking because you're considering getting it yourself? Or are you asking because you did read it and it wasn't good or was good and you want to share? Antelope, I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge follower of Norwegian soccer, but I'm pretty sure they won once after 2007 too, no? Or am I just imagining things? I feel like they got relegated and then sensationally won right after their promotion back. These kind of positions are rough because black doesn't really have any pawn breaks, which is fine when you're playing against like a super grandmaster. If I'm black here against Tomaszewski or Carlson or whatever, I'm pretty happy because black is super solid. But when I'm playing against a Lord Iffy, then I'm looking for ways to win the game. And then this position becomes much less enjoyable. Eddie using 10,000 loyalty points to jump ahead of the queue. Wow, Eddie is such a smart guy. And so we're going to play him next. What's your favorite chess book? It's uh, Seven Deadly Chess Sins by Jonathan Rosen. So yeah, he's definitely one of my favorite chess authors. Anita is reading Moves That Matter now and is liking it a lot. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I have very good taste. Uh, how to give yourself credit for a book you haven't even read. I did recommend the author. That's my, my claim to success here. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to put the bishop here. Then we're going to put a rook in the middle. 
I'm not sure how I'm gonna win it. Actually, I am completely sure how I'm gonna win it, but I'm not gonna reveal it just yet. Marcus Redeker has written several good history books on piracy. Oh, really? That's interesting, Crunchy. But at this point, I, most of my life, the my dad's love for giving me books has been mostly an annoyance uh, because I don't read. But this year I find myself uh, hoping uh, for that Rousen book, but also I got a recommendation on another book which I might want to want to you know seek out or or get. And I, I feel like by the end of this year, I'm going to I'm going to have more books than I've read the last 10 years combined. High crime rate, really? Only that's disappointing. Paradise on Earth. And all they have are criminals. Man. Man, I'm choking. I wanted to play Rook H4, but then he had Knight F6 check. So then I wanted to do something else, and then I'm, I'm losing on time, blundering all my pawns. Wow, I'm very glad he blundered his Rook there, because I was about to give away everything. Uh, let's take this one, and then this one, and then we have game. I'm, I'm liking my plan of two second increments. It's working out today. It's working out right now. You miss soccer? Yeah. It's good we have chess. Yeah, there's also more chess coming. I'm really looking forward to announcing when things can be announced. Shaky internet? Wow, yeah, that's definitely not Paradise Ollie. I I was I was on board with the pollution, the high traffic and the high crime rate. But the shaky internet, that's what put me off. The Caribbean. Hostages taken in a hotel? While you lived there, Oli? That's crazy. How important is it to read chess books from a young age to become a good chess player? I mean, when I was young, I would say it was pretty important, Sakahiasen. But these days, there's so many more new learning tools that I'm sure chess books aren't necessarily the answer for everyone. But when you give advice, you all often relate to your own experiences. So I, I definitely enjoyed reading chess books when I was a kid. I did it a lot. I read so many chess books um, and I became pretty good. Do with that information what you please. How to avoid tilts? I'm not the guy to ask Max. I tilt pretty, pretty often. Hey Daniel, how are you doing? Uh, Yoon, feel free to use your uh, loyalty points if uh, you want me to do the challenge earlier. But right now I'm playing against Eddie because he he used his loyalty points. You're you're next in the queue after Eddie though. That sounds rough, bow ties. 
Jan is not the kind of guy to take that very lightly, I suspect. He's probably pretty upset right now. Uh, McBurnout, thank you for the compliments. Hope TV2 sticks with two guests was more chilled that way. Yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna... Probably they will want a third person for the classical normal games. But yeah, Rapid is a different animal. Chessinators with the rate of two. Oh, I'm playing against your brother, Chessinator. While well, your two viewers are about to see a slaughter. I'm, I don't think this is imprecise, Daniel. I think I was precise. I think I'm doing it right. Pretty sure. Oh, you're saying I'm your brother. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, it's clearly I have shown how old I am by not being part of the slang. Oh, Eddie is using an imprecise move order. Well, the thing about imprecise move orders in the Queen's Gambit is that, you know, everything is equal anyway. As long as you don't do anything crazy with your pawns, you can't really do that much wrong. Uh, Bursuk, his username is actually Dr. Tombstone. So, you know, if he's dead or a ghost, he might not have any money. So the Queen's Gambit isn't the sharpest of openings. I would say that is true, yes, Daniel. Who would have thought we're uncovering some, uh, some very surprising stuff right now on stream. The content you're all looking for. Um, so how do we feel about this move? I, I kind of want to prevent e4. If if a4, if he pushes in the center, then yes, his pawns will be a bit eh. But I think he can manage. How did you do in fantasy? Audio man, I think I finished like 53rd, which is, you know, decent. Uh, but MVL finishing in the last place, that, um, that was pretty important for the fantasy standings. So let's put it like that. Not a lot of people got that one for good reason as well. MVL finishing last in a rapid chess tournament. Wow, it was shocking. No gambits? No, I'm not a big gambit guy. I played the Queen's Gambit though. Uh, there are some people who say the Queen's Gambit isn't a proper gambit. And surely they have not seen some of my losses. Uh, Queen d3 is a good move because I don't really want to play g6 because then potentially my king could be attacked along the seventh rank. So my pawn structure with a pawn on f5 isn't really that much 
isn't that nice because if I have to play g6 then my king is just going to be weak for the rest of the game I'm going to do it still though I want to take this guy it's not a gambit don't lie to the people it literally has gambit in its name and I'm, I'm basically handing you a pawn but yeah, there are some who feel the queen's gambit is not a proper gambit. Meaning you didn't win your pawn back? Yes, precisely. That's what happened. I lost in the queen's gambit. Ooh, this guy is very tricky. If I take with this pawn, he can go queen b3 check with an attack against my rook and my king. That's actually very bad for me. This is, wow, that's a very powerful move. And I'm getting a low on time as well. Man, rough day. Audio man, thank you for the compliments. So it was a real gambit then. Yes, that's what I'm telling you, Irved. The Queen's Gambit is real. I lost, I have the loss to prove it. I got destroyed. Uh, Harigiri, I have kind of fallen victim so far. I, I made a draw in the first game. I was so close to a checkmate, but I couldn't find it. But no one has beaten me. Are you going to be the first one? What's the lowest rank you've lost to? Let's not rip up bad memories, I think. That's, that's not helping anyone. Is there a recording of the TV2 show? Yes. If you have the, the premium membership, yeah. We seem to be relying a lot on the premium memberships these days. But if you have TV2 Sumo, then you can watch the, the replay of the, of the broadcasts. Okay, we got a passed pawn. His king cannot kind of get into a proper defensive position because my rook is, uh, is keeping this D file under control. And so we're just going to use this pawn and this king, help each other up the board, become a new queen. And it's game over. You want three months subscription? Really, audio man? Oh, for the for the Twitter contest. Brilliant. Good game, Eddie. Is this banter blitz? Yeah, feel free to challenge me, Henry. I'm taking on challenges for three minutes plus two second increments. I've decided to do increments because I have I have made the realization that I'm an old man who streams and who reads very slowly. So, um, so I'm just going to go with it. Give myself the increments I need to avoid my mood being completely destroyed every time I lose. Well, actually, that's not how it works. I'm still going to be destroyed every time I lose. I'm just never going to lose when I have increments because I'm, I'm good. I'm just slow. I never remember what I'm supposed to do here, but rook b8, I think, is part of the plan. Trying to expand on the queen side. Uh, Tyrion, you're like 
third ish. Do you play low rated too? Yes. We play against people, chess 24 premium members in the order where in which the challenges are made. You may feel old, but it's all in your head. Yeah, that's what I told myself too. Until I started losing chess games against people watching my stream. And then I was like, hmm. Maybe I'm old for real. So he's going to play b4, which I don't know. It, it feels like I should have something. Maybe I should take this one. Go knight. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, I agree, Daniel. I really like the symmetrical English. I think it's it's very interesting. Is there a secret staying calm with a low time? Um, I think experience helps. And, you know, confidence. Because you need to be confident just to know that you're able to make the quick moves that's needed. Uh, but... I mean, even though I'm calm, calm is not always good. You know what they say about when you're going to perform your best, you need your butterflies to fly in formation. And there's a reason for that, because if you have no tension, if you have no nervousness in your body, then you're going to be very, very calm, but you're not going to be focused or concentrated at all. So you want some of that nervous energy, just not too much of it. Hey, Bobby, I saw you were doing good at fantasy chess at times. Nisha, I, I, I don't know if he's going to stop by today, but he was like top three in the world. Amazing stuff. Harigiri, 3 plus 2 is a perfect banter time, because then I don't lose on, you know, I, I win, I don't lose on time, or have, have the games. I think it's excellent. I disagree with your assessment. Um, so B4 is kind of like, I don't feel like he has any great purpose with this move. But at the same time, I'm not sure what my plan should be moving forward. Maybe like rook c8. Yeah, rook b2 was not very good. Because the rook isn't really doing anything here anyway. He should have played rook c1, because then he could have given protection to this pawn. Whereas now, this pawn is just a huge problem. Uh, Eddie. Um... Uh, we don't normally do back-to-back uh, -back channel point re redemptions. Ugh. Should I have had a setting differently? Uh, Eddie, I'll remember next time you stop by, but we're, we're going to go through... Uh, everyone giving challenges right now before we play a second game against someone. But make sure to remind me uh, another time that you redeemed and I postponed your redemption. Um, so he's going after my pawn, two of my pawns. But I have this move. Now he cannot move the knight because then he loses the rook. But he also, yeah, he was he was just stuck. Queen b3 and queen b6 was just winning instantly. And yet it took me 17 seconds to find. It's okay though. We, we spend some time, but we get there in the end. We find the important moves in the end. That's what matters. Q4 
do you rate semi-final against Ding towards Banter Blitz final with Ali Reza? I have no idea what you're saying, audio man. Towards? I thought the semi-final against Ding was incredibly thrilling. I saw that uh, Alexander Gristchuk, he was uh, commenting that he thought it was the best match he has ever seen. And Gristchuk, he has seen some chess in his life. So that's a, a massive, um, massive vote of, of confidence right there. What's my current ELO rating? I don't know, Dispensa. I stopped keeping track once I was unhappy with the number, which I think is the right thing to do. Excitement wise? No, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think the Ding match was something special. I'm going to have to go with that one. Ding would have the best chance of beating Magnus for the world title. Normally, I would say you're... That's just nonsense, Harigiri. But with the performance he showed... I'm I'm starting to think you might be right. I never really considered Dane a massive challenger to Magnus, but after having read up on his most recent results against Magnus and also his performance in the Magnus Invitational, I he's he's looking very good. The thing is, Magnus' strategy for the last two World Championship matches has been to make draws, go into Rapid, and win Rapid. He did it against Fabiano, he did it against Karyakin. And against Ding, that is starting to look like a, a dubious strategy. Because Ding is really very good at, uh, at Rapid. Um, so then Magnus might actually have to win it in the Classical games. But... You know, the thing is, Magnus has a plan, and then he uses his plan, and then he wins matches. And I think if he had a plan that he wanted to beat Ding in the 14 games, regular games, then somehow I feel like he, he would manage to do that. Big Ding fan? Are you really, Frez? Is that a, a recent thing, or have you been a Ding fan for a long time. I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to push this pawn. Um, and I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it myself because I'm kind of, now I'm going to be stuck with this pawn, which is blocking my, my bishop. But look at his knight. I'm basically just saying that his knight is the most horrendous piece ever. And that I'm going to, play this game without ever letting this knight come back into it. I'm not sure I'll be successful, but there's there's a reasonable chance. Wow, Fress has been a Ding fan for a few years. Were Fress, were you a Ding fan when when Magnus annihilated the boy? in in St. Louis because right about there I thought there's no way Ding ever challenges Magnus but he's he's shown himself to be uh, very resilient very good at chess uh, Bloby coming in with the one year sub anniversary thank you so much Bloby
Uh, what is going on? Wow, if that move worked, it would have been pretty unreal, but it didn't work. Now he's just giving me all of his pieces. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm just gonna keep taking, keep taking stuff. That's the Norwegian way. Just take what you're offered. Tech Fresh Fang? Wow. That is the comment of a man who's frustrated helping Fresh out with technical stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna take, keep taking pieces. Uh, what is going on here? I'm just gonna take everything. I'm pretty sure he didn't see knight f2 check, but he did give a counterattack against my queen. We're gonna take it anyway, though. We're just gonna exchange pieces the Norwegian way. Oh, let's not do that. I think there were a lot of Russians who were Karyakin fans. But yeah, Daniel, it's uh... Now actually, Karyakin made a big name for himself in Russia. I'm, I'm not sure why, but even though he lost the match, he, he was doing like public talk shows and stuff is my impression. He, he actually became reasonably famous in Russia during the match against Magnus. And uh, thanks for the game. Good game, Blunder Panda. Yeah, Vertvich, that final queen sacrifice from Magnus in the match against Karyakin, that was so good. I mean, that tactic in itself was very sweet. But just imagining it being the final move of a world championship match. And I, I remember doing commentary. Yeah, I, I you, sh you guys should look it up. The final rapid game between Magnus and, and Karyakin. I was doing commentary and I was like, oh my gosh, Magnus is about to lose. Why did he just push all his pieces into the attack? Turns out Magnus had it under control. But it was slightly scary. Oh, Panda, no. When I say good game, I'm not saying you played a good game. Don't for a moment think that's what I'm saying. I'm just, you know, it's a courtesy phrase. I would I would never offend you by suggesting that was a good game. I don't know, Panda. Knight H one didn't seem like a brilliant move to me. It felt a bit iffy. Okay, what do we do? Do we go G six? 
This G4 move I've never seen, but it looks very interesting. It looks kind of thematic. I, I, no, I can't do that because then he takes, 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 and knight G3. Wow, how has no one played G4 before? I mean, presumably someone has, but how? how is this the first time I'm hearing of it? Wow, I'm a genius. I am genuinely very good at chess. I don't know if it's a it's a novelty, another rook end game, but it seemed very interesting. But I'm I'm just so good at chess. I think I've just busted it over the board. Look at this. I got him to. Oh, for some reason I thought I was threatening knight takes d4. How on earth did I think I was threatening knight takes d4? This is why I need the extra time. I'm just hallucinating time and time again. For some reason I thought, okay, then I'm threatening knight takes d4, and after knight takes d4, I can take with my bishop. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I thought I was being a genius because I thought I was getting the pawn back on d4. Um, with hindsight, it would appear that I'm not getting that pawn back. But we, we, let's, let's try to attack anyway. C5 to break up the center? Yeah. I thought that as well. Actually, I thought I was going to take with the bishop here and sacrifice and go crazy. And now I kind of regret not doing that. Because I had not seen castles. Mm. Yeah, this is not good. This is very, very, very bad. Hammer will hammer Sonata? No, I don't take challenges against Fress. Because I, I I beat him last time, and so I, I want that to simmer for a bit. I don't want to give him a chance to avenge himself anytime soon. Didn't you and Augustine hit the streets after? Well, I believe Mr. Augustine went into the Norwegian night, but I remained... In my seat. Your time? It's okay, Abdu. We have a new regime now. I'm forcing everyone to challenge me with uh, two second increment per move. So now I'm never going to lose on time. Would you call yourself a genius? No. No, Ben. I would not. Sounds like a chicken to me. Yeah, that's fine. I can be a chicken. But it's it's important to, you know, appreciate your victories. And in that, it's included that I need to let my victory kind of just sit there a little bit. Uh, maybe let's take this one. I'm not sure what this king b1 was about. I played bishop d7 to prevent him from playing bishop h and bishop b5. So now I got the opportunity. Um, I guess we're going to take this one. I'm not sure what he's taking back with. 
probably the queen. Mm. It's not a good position, but I'm not a pawn down, so that's nice. I'm a chicken Perinos. Apparently, Fras is wants to avenge our previous game, and I will not let him. Okay, I'm starting to like my position now. My pieces are finding active squares. I'm gonna go d3 next. There's uh, there's some life. There's some nice nice things going on. Uh, yeah, rook a1 was probably pretty good. I'm gonna need to speed up. I don't think the rook is doing anything over here. I'm not very concerned. I'm starting to get concerned about my time. Okay, now I'm not very concerned about my time anymore. Because I just want a piece. Thank you. Yeah, Bobby, I might just go for an entirely new opening. I've suffered with your gambit so long enough. I haven't seen the games today, Rook and Game. Okay, next one, 3 plus 2. It's T Tyrion Lannister. I know that it's a Game of Thrones reference, but that's all I know. Uh, chess Blitz 35. Uh, I'm playing with increments today. So if you want to re-challenge 3 plus 2, I'll, uh, I'll make sure you get the next game. Do you play chess off stream too? No, Crow. I stopped doing that. That's when you know you're a professional streamer. When you only ever play on stream. Uh, Henry, if you don't understand why you were banned, I'm going to ban you again. Uh, and then if you still don't understand, then I don't know what to do. then we don't live with the same societal rules. So this is uh, definitely featured in my, um, in my opening repertoire. But I, I don't remember the move order. I know you're supposed to put your knight in the center at some point. But I never remember when that some point is. I think first we castle. And then white castles. And then we do this. Hey, Goldig, how are you doing? Wow. Wow, King H1. I think this is featured. I think this is featured in my, uh, in my repertoire. Unfortunately, it's just a forced draw. And I'm not sure there's any way to avoid it. No way. I'm trying to remember. I feel like my memory has... It's not what it used to be. Takes, takes.
I don't know. I think we're just gonna go for it, see what happens. If he starts attacking my queen so many times that I cannot escape, then so be it. But for now, we're gonna try to just get our pieces into the game. Okay, I don't really have much of a choice here, right? Actually, I do have a choice. I can go bishop g4. Takes, 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 takes. And g4. It doesn't seem very good. And I'm pretty sure I can take this one for free. Yeah, I'm not seeing the problem. I know that there's some line where where it ends in a draw and there's no way for black to get out of it. But based on the current position, I'm going to say this is not it. Because right now this bishop is just stuck out on the edge. I gobbled up a central pawn and I'm about to move my pieces into an attacking position. I don't think this was it, chief. Um, new interface is coming for chess 24. Yes, it's in alpha testing right now, Eddie. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I'm looking forward to it getting here. I think they're hoping to have it out in the next couple of weeks for beta testing at the very least. Wow, my phone just interrupted my chess playing by telling me it's a low on battery. 30 seconds, we get two seconds extra per move. I'm not concerned, Ramim. Alpha beta Charlie. Yeah, we're gonna fix it before Charlie arrives, Pog. That's checkmate. What's your favorite checkmate? I don't really have a favorite, Rob, but I have one I hate because it brings up very poor memories. It's the Anastasius checkmate. And my basically my most famous chess game is me at 15 losing to Magnus when he gives up his queen to give Anastasia's mate and I just I can't seem to shake it off I don't think I've ever played Lafong Bunko see you around Berserk You played the wrong move order? Oh, really, Max? Well, it turned out well for me, though, so what do you know? I'm curious what Ramim and Chess Fan are, are discussing. Do you work solely with Chess? Um, yeah, pretty much. I, I have no other skills, if that's what you're asking. My only skill in life is being able to play a board game. I, I try my best with it. Also, I have Fortnite skills. This is true, but I, I struggle monetizing those skills. Myself. Maybe in the future. Yes, I'm very good at selling flats. Thank you. Victory Royale. Hey Zoe, how are you doing? 
Yes, also very good at selling flats. Also, speaking of monetizing, I've been uh, checking out this Norwegian website where you can basically, it's basically people seeking flatmates or seeking an apartment or, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I'm, I'm even considering monetizing my living situation. I have room for another person. And so I've been, uh, I've been basically treating the, the, the sec the webpage for finding roomies as a, uh, contact ad. I guess that's pretty much per definition what it is though. It's male 25 seeks apartment downtown Oslo. You're gonna get a roommate? I'm considering it, Crow. I'm considering trying it out like for short term so there's uh, quite a few people who are coming into oslo to do a like a summer internship or something so it just strikes me as a good opportunity to kind of you know use um use some a two-month testing period basically seeing how it is to have a roommate whether I, I get on their nerves, they get on my nerves. Stuff like that. Oh man. It's been a very long time since I played this variation. Knight b3. You're supposed to play knight d5, right? Or have I confused the line and we're just freestyling? Okay, I'm going to be a good, good Norwegian schoolboy and I'm going to take this knight because that's what you do in the Sicilian. What's your favorite chess player in history? I would say Magnus. He, uh, he plays pretty exciting chess and he's given me a lot of opportunities within chess. Do you think we will end handshaking in chess after Corona? No, I don't think so. Are you opposed to the handshaking in chess and see this as a nice opportunity to get rid of it? I'm just going to castle. My king is pretty safe. I might just go with my rook and capture this pawn. You're very worried for this roommate. Are you, you're not worried about my safety. You're worried about my roommate's what? Sleeping pattern? Have you played with Magnus? Yes. Last time I played against him, I actually beat him. He was the world champion at the time. You know, I'm not trying to flex, I'm just stating facts. Elbow bump. Yeah, no, that was ridiculous. Well, he succeeded, Henry. Uh, I'll be um, you're ne up next after this one. Queen c7, b6 to c7. Why asks Paul Chess. You know, there's there's always a reason. I just realized how for how long have I been able to take this pawn? Probably should have taken it some time ago. Not paying proper attention, but. White's position is just falling apart. 
This is how you play the Sicilian people. No fancy schmancy attacks. Just take all of the opponent's pieces. Yes, audio main. Norway chess five years ago. It's been a while. But it's not supposed to be normal to beat the world champion, so I guess that makes sense. If people are good in online chess, does that mean they'll also most likely be good over the board? Yeah, I would say so. There's a strong correlation. It's, it's, it's still chess, you know. Whatever time control Magnus plays, he's, he's always going to be the favorite. It's always chess. It's the same game. Even Fabiano, who has this reputation of not being amazing at speed chess, we could see in the Magnus Invitational that, you know, he, he still knows how to play the game. A decent player. How could someone be bad at one and good at the other? I mean, it's definitely different, Manati. Um, because when you see the board in 2D, there's... Um, yeah, there's definitely reasons for why you wouldn't be able to... to cope as easily. But yeah, 2D is the main reason that it, it feels very different seeing it on a computer screen. And I don't know why, but some people seem to be coping with that better than others. I would say I'm one of the people not coping very well. And I don't really know the reason. I just know that I'm, I'm a better blitz player than a lot of people over the board. But for some reason, they have like 100 and 200 points more than me uh, on the line. Why? I don't know. Is it because you can stare your opponent in the face? Is it because of habit, of being better at moving pieces? I don't really know. But it's definitely a thing, and I am... I'm much better over the board than on the internet compared to like specific players. Maybe because of the pre moves? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm I'm fast. I'm fast. I'm good at pre moves, all of that. But still, my my results on the line are not really comparable to the results I get over the board. Thanks for the game, Mr. Bunko. Chess streamer roommates usually end up in the asylum after two weeks. I don't think that's true. Do we have any examples? Yeah, a chess streamer would definitely have pretty weird hours. I agree. Chess bra? I mean, but they, the entire chess bra house has volunteered to kind of live under those circumstances. What's the easiest opening to learn with black when white goes d4? Um, I don't know if it's the easiest, but you should check out the Hammer video series. Because it's a very straightforward, straightforward repertoire, and it covers every opening. It's simply a, a good offer. So am I supposed to play e5 or c5? I think 
If queen a4, you go e4, uh, e5. And then here you go c5. Because if the queen is on a4, then white can go queen a3, which is kind of annoying, pointing down against black's queen. Are you having black all the time? I didn't. I haven't considered it, but when you when you bring it up, it, it does feel like I've had quite a few black games. No, I've had a lot of white games as well. I think it's okay. I'm very tempted to go attack. Very tempted. Uh, Karma! Karma Dumpster coming in with a four month resub. Thank you so much. What did you think about Carlson's King's Gambit? Um, Magnus actually commented that he was pretty happy with the opening he got. So, you know, as long as Magnus is happy, then... Uh. Um, so, I was planning to move my knight up here and attack. But now I'm starting to think maybe a5. I can get my bishop in a nice position. Seems Seems pretty good. Uh, Potless Flower, yeah, Chess24 is, is working on a, um, a new play zone. It's, it's currently in alpha testing. We, we actually had a, st a stream where we were looking for people to, uh, to help test the new server. So some people in the community have, have already seen how the new, what the new play zone looks like. Uh, this looks like a free pawn. I'm going to take it. My queen is attacked, so I'm going to move it. And now this bishop move is just going to be devastating. I once played this opening against uh, Vichy Anand. And he just, he gave away two of his pawns. So I was pretty happy. I had the white pieces and I was two pawns up and I was like, yeah, I'm doing okay. But then he was like, yeah, I, I really like the, the light squared weaknesses on the king side. And he thought that he could create some trouble because of that. And of course he was right. I got destroyed. I'm going to take this knight. But I'm, uh, I'm actually going to go here first. We're going to do both. We're going to take the knight and we're going to threaten checkmate. Uh, Blank, you're welcome to challenge me, but I'm, I'm only accepting challenges from premium members. But there have, there are people have been known to get a game if the streamer is not fully focused and doesn't pay attention to whether or not the challenger is a premium member. So you can try your luck, but I'm, I'm feeling attentive today. This is your 10th black in a row? Are you kidding me? Ollie, are you doing something with the server? Is this a conspiracy? I'm, I'm fine with your terrible play, Henry. I like winning. Okay, we had this opening earlier. Then I played this rook, rook b8 and tried to go for b5. It worked out well then, so we're going to do it again.
A big space otter coming in with a 28 month resub. 28 months. I think that makes big space otter the second longest sub we have on the channel. Thank you so much. And thank you Despensa for giving me a free night. How generous. So coming up after me in a bit over 30 minutes, we have Mr. Lefong. Um, but I'm playing until then, and I'm hoping to get all the rest of the challenges done. Next up is Rafiki Harigiri. We have, well, we have a challenge from Salatan, but he didn't challenge the... Uh, the time control I asked for, so we're going to ignore that. And we have Syrian and Bloby and uh, not another Rook end game. We'll see how many we manage to get. There will be more streams, more opportunities. Uh, Lagunidas, you have not challenged uh, for a 3 plus 2 game. I'm, I'm being cynical these days, maximizing my chances of winning. Okay, the knight is threatening the queen. I feel a checkmate coming very, very soon. Or a resignation. Either will work. Okay, next up is Rafiki. A white game. Okay, finally. The system is not rigged. Although it, it, it was starting to feel like it. Did I really have 10 black games in a row? The amazing thing is that I didn't even realize it was that bad. I was just, you know, sticking. When you play the hammer black open and the hammer, hammer video series with the black pieces, your openings are so easy. It never feels like you're playing black. Buy your Hammer video series today, if you want to feel the same way. Uh, am I going to play e5? No. Yeah, you can choose what color you have, Vertridge, but then I can see it on my monitor. Everyone else might think you got the white pieces fair and square but I will know and I will punish you. What happens if someone plays Hammer's E4 openings against Hammer's black repertoire? We have had that question before, Henry, and the answer is that we will end up in a brayer where I was clever enough to like give multiple different variations for black without like a clear conclusion. I just said, like, interesting play arises, and then I gave some uh, suggested lines to kind of illustrate the possible plans of the position. So, yeah, I definitely uh, managed to deal with that whole situation. What is the objective evaluation of these positions? I don't know, but D4 was a good move. Honestly, Rook A7 was also a good move. I guess we're gonna do this and see what happens. Actually, I shouldn't pre-move that. 
It could be very interesting taking back with the bishop. But there are so, some pros and cons. Okay, well, now I'm taking with a pawn. Because now I'm, I want to keep this guy. We respect bishops on the stream. Apparently, Hafiki is a new viewer who has not yet learned his lesson. But all the more important that I show him the power of the bishop right now. We're going to put that guy in the middle, point it down towards Black's king. And next time, Rafiki is not going to give away bishops so lightheartedly. Hey, Cairo. What's up? I'm, I'm punishing people for giving away their bishops. That's what's up. Um, let's get the queen in there. Mm, okay, so he wants to go knight b6 to kick away my bishop. Plan identified and plan prevented. Boom! Prevented, I said. I guess we're just gonna be boring. Get the queen involved. Boring, but effective. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Ollie. It's, uh, it's pretty good, I think. It's a, it's a good place to start. I definitely blundered knight takes e5. Oh man. That was kind of like his one trick in the position. I just fell straight for it. Wow, Cairo, 10th place, that's amazing. Would you say you got some advice from my uh, from watching my selections? Or did you do it all on your own? Is your black repertoire similar to Jan's? No. It's the exact opposite, Henry. Jan's is full of tactical variations. I am very thorough computer analysis. Whereas mine is a bit more, eh. Try and get the bishop pair. Try and get a half decent position. And live along and prosper. Evening, Fred. How are you doing? Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to capture some stuff right now. And then win the game. Let's start by capturing this guy. And then check. And he resigns. It's about to be checkmate. Wow, you picked MBL to finish last? How can you be proud of that? That's, that's like such a bad pick. That is 100% hindsight pride in the flesh. Picking MBL to finish last in the Magnus Invitational? It's just, it should never have happened. I don't understand what's going on, but I guess it worked out for you. Congrats. You picked MBL to win, Henry? Yeah. Well, that's more like it. Anik, if you want to challenge me, use uh, exclamation point challenge for instructions. Uh, yeah, good game, Rafiki. Ooh, this line. Let's see if I remember what I recommended here. Pretty sure I did a very straightforward c3, d4.
Um, am I being an idiot right now? C3 is the move, right? But then what happens on knight f6? Do I go rookie one first? Rookie one, then he commits his knight. And then I, yeah, maybe this is the way to go. Really surprising how both MBL and Ding was transformed from the candidates. Nah, there's good days and there's bad days. But yeah, Ding was very impressive. He, uh... He looked very good. It's very unfortunate he had such a bad start to the candidates tournament. Cause he uh he was he was playing very, very impressively. Uh yes, Anik, I'm only taking challenges from uh Chess24 premium members. Ooh, we get to damage the opponent's pawn structure. My favorite thing in the life. Now we're going to try to set put this bishop on c5. Successful. Then we're going to trade queens. Um, let me use my queen trade emotes. And then we're going to win a pawn. And Harigiri has been Hari crushed with uh, with what is normally referred to as a drawing strategy of exchanging pieces. But I am just an expert in that strategy. Yeah, Vertwitch, I was number one for two two weeks or no, two rounds. That was pretty enjoyable. But yeah, I, I made some, I don't know. I think if, if Ali Hesa had, had lost that match against Giri and ended up in the last place overall in the tournament, um, yeah, I would have been uh, top five for sure. Still theory? I don't know, Bergen. I think I, yeah, I think this is theory. Um, well, normally you go knight e7 here, but I'm pretty sure c3 and d4 is supposed to be good for for white, which is a bit strange because um, it feels wrong opening up the position when black has the bishop pair, but that's just something I know that you're supposed to do for whatever reason. And then we just play logical, nice moves trying to exploit the weaknesses, and especially the weakness of this guy. Weakness of this guy and the square in front of the, the isolated pawn. Okay, we're gonna play b3, and then we're gonna put this knight on a beautiful square on c5. A square where no black pawns can attack the knight. No black pawn can chase it away. And we get an easy win with the white pieces this time. Sensationally, I get the white pieces and I use that advantage to its full extent. Did you sell your apartment? Yes, I did. Not Mark. Speaking of 
things for sale. All of Black's pieces were about to to be sold at a. Uh, is, do you really have no better word for oh bankruptcy? I was going to start talking about like Title 11s or something. But yeah, bankruptcy uh, auction going on right there with Black's pieces ready to go down. Uh, Vertrich, I actually made a draw in my first game today, so my score isn't that amazing. I, I saw Fress has a rating above 3000. He might even have a rating above 3,100. So I should I should start. This is my the playing games with increments is my new strategy for for getting back some respectability among the chess twenty four streamers. I'm gonna need it. I'm a laughing stock with my two thousand eight hundred rating. We're gonna have to go for the throat for maximum rating gain. I already schooled you three times with Bishop B5. Well, yes, brave man then, Harigiri, to go for it again. Mouse slip or not. Slip of the mind. I'm very happy with this position. Because. This square on g4 is so good. I don't know. I'm just forcing him to go queen d2. And it just feels like the queen is not liking g d2 as a square. So it's, it's not because I saw anything good happening. It's just this queen feels misplaced. So yeah, he's going to go a3. He's going to chase me back. But essentially what has happened then is that I get to play knight f6 and he plays e3, a3 as a response. Because I'm, I'm assuming now he's going to go queen e1 again. Would you beat Svidler in Blitz? Not every time. Not every time. But I, I would win a couple of games, I think. Feel like there's tactics. Tactics in the air. Maybe not even tactics. Knight b5, I can go a3. I I I I have been trying to set up this knight takes e4 move, but frankly, I don't need it. Because there's no way for him to defend the knight on d4 anyway. One out of three? Uh maybe. I don't know. Svidor is pretty good at chess. I don't know if you guys are aware. He's decent. I really want to go like knight h5, but I think feel like it's more fancy than it than it's good. We're just gonna. Go. Uh, Cairo coming in with a four month resub. Thank you so much. Svidler is a pretty fascinating guy. He has he has a bit of a, tr a problem with being tempted to make a draw whenever the opponent offers one. But when he's at his best, uh, he has this amazing understanding of dynamic positions, so like attacking, like very unclear attacking positions. 
I really want to get a knight to this square. So we're going to have to move the bishop. Also, he's planning to go bishop f1 to attack my queen. So we're going to kill two birds in one stone. We're both going to prevent bishop f1, and we're going to free up this square for the knight. Wow, Svidler won title Tuesday. That's amazing. Well, really anyone winning title Tuesday is amazing. It's a ridiculously strong tournament. Okay, we're going to let him get this check. I don't even care. Have my rook. I have other things in mind. Okay. Exchanging pieces when you're down a piece is not really the, the way to make things happen, but I'm, I'm fine with it. I got the extra knight. Let's take that one. Let's attack the rook. It's tempting to castle just for the fun of it. Um, okay. They really need to do something about these click moves. But it didn't it didn't affect me there, luckily. Ooh, this is tempting. You always want to go the queen in the corner once in your life. And especially queen going back into the corner to give checkmate in this corner would have been sweet. How does Svetler underestimate Cairo? It's hard for you to follow Svetler's thoughts and commentary. Yeah. I, I would imagine, Lord Iffy. Um, so, I mean, I, I like listening to him because it's interesting hearing a, a top-tier player talk about chess. But if your hope for the broadcast is to make it easy for everyone to understand, he might not be your guy. Okay, we got the win. We got the queen going from corner to corner to give the checkmate. And we still have that challenge from Fres. Do you think he's still watching? I think we're going to prioritize the people. Don't you hate it when Magnus has a banter blitz and he plays games against Trent? Oh man, Magnus doesn't get enough fun in his life, so he needs to use his banter blitz sessions to, to take down Trent, to amuse himself, basically. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember what I recommended here. Oh, now I remember what I recommended. I didn't recommend this move at all. I wanted to cast... Oh, man. This is how I played in the good old days. This is Hammer H15. White repertoire. Just go push this pawn up. That's pretty much the entire basis of this prep. Do you use Instagram to promote your chess content? No. But I uh, I recently used Instagram to promote a tennis tournament. Some of my friends are organizing. Very prestigious. I got to the semi-final three years ago. My first ever participation. As you can tell, the, the competition is, is very very tough. I have never played tennis in my life and I got to the semi-final.
But the re what I was trying to get at is the reach on Instagram is actually insane. Posting about some nonsense tennis tournament and, you know, 1,100 people watched that message. So it's got some serious reach. Should black go h6 instead of f6 there? No, Henry. f6 is considered the better move. Um, I guess it's because then you don't... If the pawn had been on h6, I could do like f5 and sacrifice my bishop. But now that's not really an option. Do you use Twitter to promote your chess courses? Yeah, I was looking over my Twitter feed the other day and my Twitter is so boring. It's pretty much exclusively promoting my own content. <laughs> Which, you know, you're supposed to do. That's good. It's loyal, but it's a bit boring. Okay, so if I go C4, he's gonna go F5. If I go f5, then, then I will have gone f5. Something is going to happen in the center. I guess I should put my knight on c4. Maybe I should just develop my pieces. Like a proper chess player. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really liking my position. I gave the opponent the bishop pair. It's n always a mistake. Where's the hammer merch store? Where we should we should make that happen, Ollie. Okay, I'm down to 20 seconds, so I'm going to have to make a decision soon. I don't really want to allow f5, but I fear that if I go f5 myself, I'm just going to get annihilated. Okay, I did it. Let's see what bad things are going to happen. At least now I have some light squared control. But I might just get steamrolled in the center. Okay, that was definitely not it. That was not my concern. Maybe it's still good though. Okay, but I think you probably should have put the bishop back here so that you could go f5. He really needs to play f5, I feel. Okay, one straight into the c4 move but it, it's probably okay c4 i just ignore keep developing yeah matural that could have been a plan of mine it's just i would have been crushed on the king's side if i did that it's, uh, it's a nice plan, but the problem with chess is that the opponent also makes moves. And so your plans have a tendency of getting interrupted by reality. We're going to open up on the king side now. All of our pieces are perfectly placed. The bishop is on the diagonal. The knight is in a good support, supporting position. The rook's ready to get involved, and so is the queen. And now we're going to push away this bishop. So if he doesn't do anything, we're going to go h5. And if he goes h5, then we're going to go g4.
BG. That is one of my favorite videos on the entire internet. Not even kidding. Very nice memories of beating Magnus. I don't care what I beat Magnus at. I just care that I win, you know? There's got to be a checkmate here somehow. Let's try this. Well, now there's a free piece, which seems nice. Nah, he resigned. Feels bad. I was really looking forward to this checkmate. That would have been such a sweet checkmate. Shame on you for resigning. Not letting me fulfill my my fantasies. That would have been pretty. That was pretty nice. Okay, last game of the day. It's gonna be against. Did we play against not another rook end game? I don't think so. It's gonna be the last one. Hey fish. Uh, you just got here? Well, don't worry. I'm uh, I'm about to uh to go off, but I'm being replaced. Mr. Lefong of Canada is going to is going to come in as my replacement real soon. So you will have more opportunities to beat some highly rated players. LeFong actually has like 300 rating points more than me on the on chess 24, which is pretty depressing, but what are you gonna do? Dr. Brainiac coming in with the Twitch Prime, my favorite, uh, for 19 months. Thank you, Dr. Brainiac. I'm trying to remember what I was recommending here, and I'm struggling. I think I just wanted the normal lines. Oh yeah, now I remember. Bishop G4, I was just doing D3. Just building up slowly but surely. Isn't Jan also 3,100? Doesn't mean I don't beat him, Henry, though. They may have the rating, but in a head-to-head -head match, I feel very motivated. They don't stand a chance. Just ask Fress if he's still around. They got destroyed. Last time they dared challenge me, I held on by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> Had an absolutely terrible position. But I managed to survive. And then when they got overly ambitious, I got the counterattack to win. That's how we do it. Um, so I want to play g4, but I don't really want to do that until he castles. But my other problem is that I don't really have any good moves to kind of pass the time until I'm ready to go G4. So we're going to go G3. Ooh, cheeky. So now if he castles, I might go G4 anyway. I'm such a devil. But actually, I changed my mind. Mm. G4. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to kick this bishop back. And then what I'm wondering if, is if I can play knight h4. Because if in these positions, if you can get this, this knight to g2, then your knight is doing a really good job of protecting your king 
and then you can go like F4, F5 afterwards. Do you still consider yourself an active player? Yes, audio man. I'm, I'm reasonably active. It's just that every time I play, I play poorly. And a loose rating. And then, you know, I don't get very motivated to play a lot more. Okay, we have been challenged in the center. How are we going to respond? A, E5, B, F4, or C, Knight G2. We're definitely not doing Knight G2 because there's traps. Um, actually, this is tricky. If I take, he's definitely going to consider taking back with the F pawn. I feel like I really need to get this pawn to, to F4. I need to control the dark squares. How much time do you take to prep for a classical tournament? I don't really prep for a tournament. I prep for games, Henry. But for a game in a classical tournament, I would spend between... It depends how much time I have, but between two and eight hours, maybe. It depends on your mood. Okay, so if I take back, then he has bishop takes e4. So I'm going to need to take this one first. Now, I'm surprised he took with the h-pawn so quickly. I thought he was considering taking with the f-pawn, trying to go after this guy. Now he kind of has to go e5, but then after f5, he's kind of, he has no light squared control. I want to go a4 if the opportunity presents itself, but in general, my bishop pair and my central control is just magnificent. I'm doing very well here. Have you ever played Magnus in a three minute game? Um, yeah, I mean in a blitz game. I've beaten Magnus in a blitz game but never in a tournament. Only like when we played some casual games. There's no such thing as a casual game. When you're playing against Magnus, there's va always going to be value in beating him. Bragging rag rights for some time. I did not play this very well. I feel like I should have played c4 at some point. Oh, 0.1 seconds from losing on time. Okay, I just completely panicked. I just gave away my entire position. He could have taken a free pawn and didn't, which was kind of weird. Wow, I have never panicked so much. It turned, I always when I'm low on time like this, I kind of feel like, yeah, I'll manage. Or no, I'm not going to let myself get stressed out by the time, but. Somehow, I always end up stressed out by the time anyway. There, I blundered. Wow, I blundered like four times so far. He still hasn't punished me, but there's plenty of opportunities left. Okay, we're just going to have to go and checkmate this man. That's our only hope. Wow, I played this so poorly. Okay. This is reminiscent of a very well-known game called Too Weak, Too Slow between Monsieur Fresinet of France and Monsieur Carlsen of Norway. It 
did not end well for the French, as is tradition. Wow, I've really choked this, but it's starting to look like a win again. His bishop is not the greatest piece on this board. It's not having a good time right now. Oh, poor guy. He had like five different ways to win that. I'm so sneaky. We're gonna let him get a new queen, and then we're gonna checkmate him. You did make a draw in Norway, Chess? No. We did not. Your time scares me? Yeah, it turns out, Tankan, it scared me as well. I got so scared, I gave away the position. I had such a nice position as well. I was really enjoying my opening play, and then stuff happened. Like hereabouts, I'm completely winning, I feel. Maybe I should have played it like c4, trying to shut down. Because once he gets access to the c5 square, suddenly things is not so clear. Because his bishop can use this, his knight can go here, and then the bishop. Yeah, so I feel like when he played c4, I had already lost control. And then I started getting low on time. And then first I blundered this pawn. Then I blundered this pawn. Then I blundered this bishop, because there's a double attack against the bishop, and against bishop takes f4. So I would have had to go like queen e1. And this is not looking amazing. Um, and I'm sure he had other ways to win as well. But once I got the queens off the board, frankly, it's difficult for him, I feel. Because, yeah, he's two pawns up, but... It's not the greatest two pawns ever. And then I managed to wrestle back control. Yeah, fish. I also heard that Danya Naroditsky is amazing. <laughs> I swear I'm not sick. Danya Naroditsky is also amazing with the touchpad. But yeah, it's uh, it's an art. I am not. <laughs> Thank you, Iffy. I feel like it's very important to say I'm not sick whenever you do sneeze. But it has, I have chats, sworn testimony that I, I am not sick. This is the only time I've sneezed throughout the show. Uh, speaking of show, uh, I am done. Uh, and we're gonna send you over to Mr. Le Fong. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching. I'm gonna be streaming more this week. I just don't know when. Um, so stay tuned by checking out the Chess24 uh, video show broadcast place. I'll put the link in Twitch chat. If you're on Chess24 chat, it means you already know how it works. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. Make sure to use your raid emotes to welcome Mr. Hua of Lefong fame. Um,